Good evening, Katia. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. How about you? Great. I'm pretty well, thanks. How was your day? It was so so. <laughs> oh, really? What happened? Much work, but in the afternoon, most rest quiet. Oh, okay. So you only work in the morning, Kathy? Yes. Oh, okay. All right, that's very good. You have a free afternoons, right? To rest and do some other things. But sometimes I have to, to go um, mandados, I don't know how to say. Oh, to run errands? Diligences. Errands? That is how you say it. Um, let me type it on the chat so you can see the word. That is to run errands. Errands, mandados, hacer mandados, we say run errands. Hacer mandados, run errands. That's how we say And it. always of my work. Oh, okay. Yes, I bet. And I also, I guess you also have meetings sometimes, right? Yes, and, and in April, I going to begin to start in the university. Oh, you're going to study. What are you going to study? No, work. I work. In oh, the work. Community. You're working at Unicaes. Yes. Oh, Inside that's nice. twenty two years. Oh, okay. Since twenty two years, I work in the university. And oh. Yes. And now I you're coming back. Oh, okay. Yeah. But only in the afternoon. Or, or semi presencial on Saturday. Oh, for the master's the program. Yes, and the licenciatura. Oh, and the bachelor's as well. Okay, that's great. I used to teach at Unicaes as well. Um, yeah, I stopped like one, yeah, one year and a half ago, something like that. And the English course? No, at the English uh, bachelor's in las licenciaturas. Yes, I used to teach there. So it was a nice experience. I really loved working with university students. But um, yeah, then I decided to move and work with kids. <laughs> yes. It's interesting. Thanks. So how about the platform? Katia, did you finish? The, la the last week. Oh, I you're done. Okay. I have my... Certificate, diploma. diploma. Okay. I have a yeah. okay. printing. You printed. Printing. Nice. Okay, perfect. Congratulations. Thank you. Reina Acosta, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Uh, very well. Okay, great. How was your day? It is white, white. Okay, sounds good. What did you do today? Um, this is exams. Um, my students. Okay. Educación física. Physical education. Physical education. Or uh, only, only. <laughs> only that. So you teach computing and also physical education, Reina? Uh, <laughs> you teach both. Okay, that's yes. interesting. Nice. <laughs> so you're teaching in a in a virtual physical education class. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, so, teacher. Sounds nice. <laughs> and how about the platform, Reina? Have you finished? Yes, I, I finished. You're done. Okay, sounds nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah, only a few of you have come. I don't know what's happening with the others. 
So uh, meanwhile, you may tell me, do you have any questions, any doubts about any of the topics or exercises in the platform? No question. No questions, okay. No. All right. Oh, he's cute, Katia. Is he your yeah. your nephew? My nephew. Oh, okay. He's cute. My nephew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he may learn English very very easily. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's going to sleep right now. <laughs> oh, okay. It's time to sleep. <laughs> All right, so I think we may start and well, the others are going to join later, I guess. So let's start by reviewing what we were studying yesterday. And let's see. We're almost done with the course, just missing one more class to go to pre-intermediate two. And well, yesterday we were talking about the present continuous. So what do you remember about the present continuous? Teacher, in the mm -hmm. presentation uh, yesterday, eh, no nos la va a compartir. You, okay, yes, I can share it with you. Sure, I can send it uh, after the class. Okay. Because explique, explanation. Explanation. Okay. De la all right, fine. I'm going to share it with you in a moment. Thank you. Okay, so let's talk about the present continuous. When do we use the present continuous? In the, in the moment now. Okay. We're talking about things that are happening now, right? Yes, we use the present continuous for talking about things or referring to actions that are happening at the moment of speaking. For example, now we are taking a class. And a second use that we can have for the present continuous is for referring to the future. So we use it for both, referring to the present, things that are happening right now, and for the near future, for example, when I talk about um, next weekend, like next weekend, I'm going to the beach. Next weekend, I'm going to the beach. So that will be a, a reference for the future, right? And we still use the present continuous. And let's remember that in order to make sentences in the present continuous, we use the structure. We have the subject first, then the verb be in the forms am, um, is, or are, then the verb in ing, and then a complement. So we got some examples. We are listening to the teacher. They are eating sandwiches. And I am working on my computer. So you see how we use the subjects first. We, they, I, the verb be, are, in M, and we could also use is for the different subjects. And then the verbs in ing, listening, eating, working, and then just the complements. Can we make some other examples using the, the present continuous? So look around you, what's happening in your house? Tell me about the things that are happening in your house. Let's see, Katia. Tell me two things that are happening there where you are. Right now, mm -hmm. my nephew is going to sleep. Good. And the other? I am studying English. Very well. I am drinking coffee. Okay, Reina. And what else? 
What's another thing that is happening there where you are? I am doing exercise. Okay, I'm doing exercise. Nice. I'm watching, I'm watching TV. I'm watching TV. Very well. Marta, can you give me another example, please? I'm cleaning the table. I'm cleaning the table. Okay. And I'm Sandra, reading the book. I'm reading a book. Good. Sandra, can you provide me another example, please? I'm studying English. I'm studying English. Okay, very well. So that is how we make sentences using the present continuous in the affirmative form. Now let's talk about some time expressions that we can use for the present continuous. The very first one is now, right? Uh, that's when we say that we're taking a class now. So that is something happening at this moment, right? We're taking a class now. Can you make another example using now? We, we're pay, paying attention. We're paying attention, okay. Very good. Then another expression to we're use. Writing. Sorry, can you repeat that? We are a uh, watching computer or? Okay. We're watching the computer or we are seeing the computer. Good. Then. Mm -hmm. And the next one is right now. So let's try to use that same sentence you just said. You're looking at the computer right now. Okay. Can we make another example, please? Teacher, can I say I am taking note you know, in yes. my book? My yes, I'm now. taking notes on my notebook right now. Well, okay, another expression that we can use is at the moment. For example, a, I can say I'm working at the moment. I'm working at the moment. Give me another example using at the moment, please. I am writing right now. Okay, or let's at use moment. at the moment. Uh -huh. at the I'm moment, writing okay. at the moment. Okay. okay, next one is today. What can we say? Give me some examples, please. Let's see, I can say I'm going to the office today. Think about another sentence using today, please. I'm buying in the supermarket today. I'm buying at the supermarket today. Okay, and then we got the expression tomorrow for referring to the future. Can you think of an example using tomorrow in the present continuous? Okay. 
I am working tomorrow. What else? I am I am running in the park tomorrow. Okay. I am running in the park tomorrow. Okay, then we have this week. Can we make some examples using that one? This week, for example, we can say my boss is traveling this week. My family um, going. My family uh, is to Abaneca this week. Okay, my family is going to Abaneca this week. Very well. Next one is this month. What can we say? I am finishing the English class this month. I'm finishing the English class this month. Okay, one more, please. Any examples you can make? I am buying my car this month. I am buying my car this month. Very good. Okay, so that is how we use the time expressions. We normally use them at the end of the sentences or at the beginning. So we could say we're taking a class now or now we're taking a class. Or you could say I am working tomorrow or tomorrow I am working. And the same happens with this one. My boss is traveling this week or this week my boss is traveling. You can use them in both positions. Now let's practice them. Everybody repeat now. 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 Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. At the moment. At the moment. At the moment. Today. Today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bro. This week. This week. This week. This month. This month. month. Okay, let's continue by talking about the negative form of the present continuous. And the structure that we have to follow is this one. We got a subject first, then the verb be. Then after the, the verb be, we add the not to indicate the negative. And then we add a verb in ing and a complement. And let's make some examples. So we got, for example, I am. Hmm? We are not playing soccer. Do you have another example? We are not playing soccer. I am not cooking. I am, I am not, not cooking. Any other? Mm. You're not paying attention. You're not paying attention. What else? I am not running this weekend. I'm not running this weekend. He's not walking in the park. 
is not walking in the park. Okay. Can you make some more? I not. I am not eating. I'm not eating. Too late. Today, okay. Any they other? They are not eating sandwiches. They are not eating sandwiches. And do we have more? She's not swimming in the pool. She's not swimming in the pool. Okay, very well, we got plenty of examples. So let's practice them. Everybody repeat. We're not playing soccer. Yes, we're not, yeah, playing. not, playing. not playing soccer. I'm not cooking. I'm, I'm not, not cooking. cooking. You're not paying attention. You're, You're not playing attention. I'm not running this weekend. I'm, I'm not, not running, running this weekend. weekend. He's not walking in the park. He's, He's not, not walking, walking in the park. park. I am not eating today. I am not eating today. today. They are not eating sandwiches. They are not, not eating sandwiches. sandwiches. She's not swimming in the pool. She's not, not swimming not in, the in the pool. Okay, now that we have talked about the affirmative and negative form, let's talk about the yes, no questions. As you know, in yes, no questions, we have to change the, the order of the elements in the sentence. So uh, normally we start the, the sentences with the subject, but in the case of questions, we start with the verb be for the present continuous. So we start with the verb be, am, um, is, or are, then we add the subject. After the subject, we have the verb in ing, and then the complement and the question mark. The question mark. And here we have some examples. Are they buying Christmas gifts? Are they buying Christmas gifts? And the short answers may be yes, they are. No, they aren't. Are they buying Christmas gifts? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. And we also got the long answers, which are, um, yes, they are buying Christmas gifts. No, they're not buying Christmas gifts. So you can use both. Um, here we have another question, which is, is your father working now? What can we answer? Is yes. your father working yes. now? Yes, yes. 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 he is. He is. Not, 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 isn't, okay. And how about the long answers? Yeah, yes, he is a father. Yes, yeah, that's your father. Yes, he is working. Yes, yes, he's working now. Um, and the negative long no, answer would be? He's no, working he's, now. He's not working now. He's not working. There we go. So we say, is your father working now? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Or yes, he's working now. No, he's not working now. Or he isn't working now. Can we make some other questions? You seen the... The person yes, continues. Is she studying in school? Is she studying at the school? Good. Any other? Is mother cooking right now? Is your mother cooking right now? Good. Let's keep on making more. He's playing soccer today. Oh, no. Is he playing soccer today? Is he playing soccer today? Good. Can you make yes. another one? 
Is your friend eating pizza? Is your friend eating pizza? Great. So that is the way we make the yes, no questions. Remember, we start with the verb be. So that means we start with are, is, or am. Now let's get some practice. I got some exercises for you to complete. Exercise number one is write the corresponding ing verb forms. So we got different verbs here. And what we have to do is to write the ing form uh, for each of them. We got a sing, which becomes singing. Mm -hmm. And also remember about the different rules, right? Remember that there are some that take double consonant, some others, a well, a, for example, in the case of the ones that finish in E, we drop the E or we remove it and then we add ING and we got different cases. So let's just remember about the rules and apply them, of course. Then in exercise two, what you have to do is to make sentences in the present continuous. Here we have some different information that we have to use to make sentences in the present continuous. For example, number one, I wash the dishes. So I say, I am washing the dishes. Or I'm washing the dishes. So you just add the verb be and change the verb to ing. So you make sentences in the present continuous. In the next exercise, number three, you have to unscramble the sentences. You got different sentences and you have to put the words in the right order. For example, number one, what is it? I am not, I am not working. I am today. not working today. Yes, I am not working today. That's how you have how you have to solve this exercise. Then in exercise four, you got some different sentences that you have to make in the three forms: affirmative, negative, and interrogative. So we have, for example, the first one: the dolphin play in the sea. What could be the sentence, the affirmative sentence? The dolphin is the, the dolphin is playing the dolphin, in the sea. Dolphin is playing in the sea. Make it negative. The dolphin isn't playing. Is not playing in the sea. The dolphin is not playing or isn't playing in the sea. And the question is: Is the dolphin playing in the sea? Is the dolphin playing in the sea? Playing in the sea. And that's what you have to do here. You have to make the sentences in the affirmative, negative, and interrogative form. Okay, so let me send it to the breakout rooms so you work together with your classmates. And um, let me send the practice to the WhatsApp group. Okay, here we go.
primero sería singing. Singing. Swimming. Swimming. Dancing. Dancing. Getting. Cutting. Cutting. Sleeping. Drawing. Drawing. Doing. Doing. Smoking. Closing. Closing. Practicing. Writing. Skating. I say writing. Writing. <laughs> Asking. Climbing. Enjoying. Correct. En ese vamos a hacer oraciones presentes. Sí. Okay. I washing the dishes. I am sorry. I am washing the dishes. We mm -hmm. are doing the homework. Correct. She is talking, talking on the phone. phone. You are writing a poem. He is playing basketball. They are doing exercise. It is eating its food. They are buying some fruits and veg vegetables. In a it is raining. <laughs> it is raining. <laughs> we are traveling to New York. Okay. En esos, yeah, I am not working today. The car is not quitting sunglasses. Sunglasses, uh huh. They are not eating soup. Susana is not going home. Grace Anatomy. Por cual me quedé. Ah, por la cuatro. Um, it's not raining today. And yeah, it's raining now. It's not. It's not not now raining. It is not raining now. Ah. Okay. It is not. Ah, it is not raining now. Six. What is the meaning of barking? Barking is the sound that the dogs make. Ladrar. Ah. Mm. <laughs> Entonces sería como the cat not barking. 
at the dog? Mm, but who barks, the dogs or the cats? Dog. Dog. It's not barking at the cats. Very well. We are not talking at all. Correct, we are not taking for. I am, work I am working. No, I am not working. I am not working today. I am not working today. The girl is the girl not, is not wearing, is wearing, wearing sunglasses. The girl, the girl is not sunglasses. Wearing sunglasses. Wearing, wearing sunglasses. Yes. The girl is not the girl wearing is not. sunglasses. Number three. They are not soap eating. No, eating. they are not eating soap. Mm -hmm. Number four. Mm -hmm. Susan is not, Susan is not home. going home. Number five. Susan is not going home. It is not raining now. Number it is not raining now. Number six. The cat is not. Is not. The cat is not. The, the dog is not. Mm -hmm. The dog, I okay. The dog is not working. The cat. Yes, barking. Bark. The bark. Barking is the sound that the dogs make. Ladrar. Okay. Mm -hmm. So is the Dog is not barking at the cats. Very well. Mm -hmm. We are not. We are, we are not taking taking part. Number eight. Joy, Joy is not, Joy is not playing piano. Piano, the piano. Function the piano. Nine. Children. Children are not. The children are. Children, not. the children are not, not swimming. swimming in the pool. And okay. The cats are not playing with the pool. The cat. Hmm. Cat. The cats are not. Are not. Playing with the pool. Playing 
the bulls. The car, the car are not playing wool. With the bull, bull. Bull, the. Playing with the wolves. Not playing with the wolves. Next, last, last sometime, please. Mm -hmm. I think. Number one in the affirmative form. The dog is playing in the dog and flying. In the sea. Mm -hmm. In negative form. The dolphin is not playing in the sea. The play not. In the interrogative form. Is the dolphin playing in the sea? Okay, in red. Number two. Tom is cooking spaghetti. Tom is cooking spaghetti. spaghetti. Negative form. Is Tom, Tom cooking spaghetti? Is not cooking or Tom. Hello, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes, some of you finished. Some others didn't. No. I made a mistake, so I called you by accident, so sorry. So let me give you some more minutes, okay? I'll send you back to the breakout rooms and we're having five more minutes. Okay, let's go. Okay. okay. Is she? Ah, sí, la, la, la negativa. Is she, is she wearing blue jeans? Wearing blue. Cinco sería de. Is. Are. Buying ice cream. Kids are not buying ice cream. The kids are, are the kids. Are the kids buying ice ice cream? Ice, ice cream. Say yeah. I yeah. I am. Driving right. my father's car. Sería así. Driving my father's car. I am not driving my father's car. The negative form. Um, aquí la pregunta sería I am driving uh, my father's am I, car Am I driving my father's car? The seven The mansion you must 
building a house. Mason. 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 <laughs> yes. Do you understand the meaning of Mason? No. Albañil. Yes. That is the person that builds the houses. Okay. Si the mansion is not built a house, la negative. Ocho. Jack. Jack is finishes. In the river. Jack is not fishing, fishing in the river. In the river. Is Jack fishing in the river? Jack fishing in the river. All right. My mom is in the window. The window. My mother is not cleaning the window. And is my mom cleaning the window? Yes. My mom. Uh. The song is shining. The song is shining. shining. The song is not shining. Shining. Is the song shining? It's not shining. I stopped. I stopped, Hosty. You're done. Do you have any questions? No questions. Okay. All right, so we're coming back in two minutes. Thank you. Negative four. Yeah. Yeah, is in finish in the river. And interrogative four. Is Jack finish in the river? In the river. Number nine. My mom is cleaning. Is cleaning the window. Negative four. My mom is not. is not cleaning the window. And interrogative four. Is, is my, my mom, mom cleaning the window? Okay. Number 10. The sun is. No, the sun. And it's shining. It's shining. The shot. The sun is not shining. Yeah. Mm, negative one, the sun is not shining. The sun interrogative not. form it, is the sun shining? Sun shine. Shining. Okay, we finish. We're done. Do you have any questions? Um, no, we finished out. Okay. All right, perfect. We're getting back to the main room. Okay.
Okay, we're all back. So did you finish the exercises? Yes, teacher. You did? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Do we have any questions, any doubts about them? No questions? So far, so good? Just a little sleepy, maybe. <laughs> We're almost done. So the last thing I want to do today is to check the final exam. We're just going to explore it. I know many of you have already done it, but just in case you have not, and let me remind you that today is the last day to complete it. So please, if you have not completed it, do it tonight because it, the platform closes at midnight and that will be it, right? So remember to complete the final exam before midnight, please. And let me tell you about it. Let me go back here. Okay, it starts with a listening exercise. And we have to listen to the conversation and select the correct answers. So here you have the audio, you listen to it. The recommendation is that you listen to the audio the most three times. And then let me tell you that it is not important to understand everything, but what matters is that you get the information you are asked for. And for example, here, Catherine has, a, you got the options four, seven, nine brothers and sisters. So you listen to the right answer, then you click on it, you mark it. And that's what you do with all four questions. Then you go to the next part. In part B, you have to complete some conversations. In part one, we have to complete using do, does, or would. Remember that we use do for the subjects I, you, we, and they. And does is for the subjects he, she, and it. And remember we use would for making invitations, right? Then um, here you just, you just have to type your answer. It could be any of the three options, do, does, or would. And remember to be careful with the spacing and with the capitalization and punctuation. Then in part number two, exercise B, you have to complete the conversations using the present continuous of the verbs. So that is what we were uh, practicing, right? You use the verb be, and then you use the sub, I mean the verb in the ing form, right? Um, okay, there you have to, to use that. Then in exercise C, you have a multiple choice exercise. Uh, you got to choose the correct word. So here we have, for example, J, does every morning before breakfast. And in order to fill in the blank, you can choose between, I mean, among yoga, football, or yogging. You've got three options. You just choose the one that is correct for you. And that will be it in exercise E. Then in exercise F, what we have to do is to read. This is a reading comprehension exercise. We read the article and then we check the correct answers. So here we have the article. We just take some minutes to read it. Once again, it is not a, essential to understand every word or just everything. It is important to get the information that we need, the information that we are asked about. So here we have, for example, in high school, Audrey Tattoo acts and then we got different options in place, on television, in movies. You select the one that, uh, that makes the statement correct or right. And you got four of those and that will be all for the final exam. Then you just submit it, right? Do we have any doubts about the final exam? Any questions? Teacher, um, presente continuo. Uh -huh. Estudin, estudin. Es, yes. ¿verdad? 
pero Marín. se escribe, uh -huh. perdón, perdón, eh, porque no me acepta así, con okay. ING. Ok, so studying would be a S-T-U-D-Y-I-N-G. Let me send it through the chat so you can check it. There you go. Remember, it's just the verb in the in the base form, study, and then you add ing. Sería igual como la forma infinitiva, study, pero le agregamos el ing. Entonces nos queda y y latina ing. Right? Y ing. So that is how you spell it. Thank you, teacher. La regla. Se me había olvidado. Okay. Thank you. All right. No problem. Any other doubts? No more? All right. So that will be all for today's class. Thanks, everyone, for participating. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.